Are you looking to find out if you should start investing in collectible minifigures? In this video, we're going to go over the, se the collectible minifigure series just to see if they're worth investing in. Hi, this is Jeremy Stark here from Brick Finds and Flips at BrickFlips.com. Welcome to the show today. Today we're gonna to focus on collectible minifigures. And by that, I mean the minifigures that you get in the little bags that have one minifigure in it. So this is different than if you were to buy a set and you were to take it apart, uh, you know, open the, the box up and you get some Lego bricks in there. And then you also get some minifigures. These are actually the ones that are just separate that you would get just individually. Uh, usually these are found in the stores. You can find them in the front aisles, kind of near the registers, or they might be in just the Lego section of each store, or you can get them online as well. Uh, but they've been around since about uh, 2010 is when I think the first kind of series was made. And uh, they've been pretty much a pretty big hit from then on. Before we actually dive right into if these are a good investment, please give us a big, huge Lego thumbs up. Let us know that this is a good video for you also if you could hit the subscribe button down below that way there you get notified of any new videos that we do have now that we get that out of the way let's get right into it all right so if you've been watching this for some time you know i love to just i i really want to dive into the numbers of everything you know sure is uh, you know some of these things that you can just kind of napkin math it and kind of figure out from your own and you know kind of get an idea of what you're working with but always to put down the numbers is really something i suggest to do any type of investment you know with legos or minifigures or anything like that we're going to use this sheet right here uh if you want to get this sheet you can go to brickflips.com roi and that way there you can you can kind of figure out what you know to play around with the different numbers in here so we, we we're going to look at just a three different series so these are basically series so if you're not familiar with the collectible minifigures they come in a series so there's usually there's there's 12 there could be up to 20 maybe 16 depending on what series it is and they will actually have the little minifigures so they'll have you know maybe 20 different minifigures that you can collect in each one or 16 or whatever the number is it's really um something that's going to vary per series in there so i did kind of a breakdown just of a few different series but i wanted to show you some of the some of the other kind of different series that are out there just so you can get an idea these are if you go back to the the very first minifigures out there and to it started in 2010 and they've gone all the way down to uh, 2021 now I'm sure they're going to continue doing it. it's very popular for a lot of uh, Lego fans so these are definitely something I don't see going away so they did vary in different prices when they first started they were $1.99 now they're as high as $4.99 and obviously they've gone kind of in the middle as as it's gone on I'm sure costs have risen and everything like that popularity of it as well so maybe squeezing a little bit more return on investment for Lego group and all in all um, they've they've come up with various different ones uh, you know they've They've done some on the the just random figures. They've also done some on Disney and Simpsons, the Lego movie, on Ninjago, Harry Potter. Uh, and then as recently, they've done Looney Tunes and Marvel um, Marvel Studio uh, series, which is which just came out at the timing of this. Now, also in here, uh, this is I kind of broke everything down by figures themselves. Uh, you can always find this stuff on um, Brickset or Bricklink, you can kind of compile this all together if you really want to look at this, but I just put this here for easy sake of us looking at everything. There's a few different ways you can actually sell the, the minifigures themselves. Now, you can just sell them in the plain bag, not knowing what it is, and just, you know, you buy it for two bucks, maybe you sell it for eight dollars later on, and, you know, it, you obviously let the customer know what it is, or if you choose a you know, an Amazon listing that has it, it would be bad. It is a blind bag, so to speak. So nobody knows what's in it. The other way that you can sell it is you can open it up and just see which minifigure it is. Technically, if you don't put it together, it is considered new. Maybe you can sell that on Amazon. You can sell it on eBay, Bricklink, you know, various different places you can do that. That's, that's you know, another probably a popular way to do that, especially, you know, because a lot of people are going to probably pay a little bit more if you've already opened it up for them and you have a collection of those. That's kind of the sweet middle of it. The other way you could do it is you can just, you know, sell it as a complete set. So maybe you might open them up. Um, maybe you might just do a feel of the bag and I'll kind of get in that in a second here and just see which characters it is before you open it up and it keeps, keeps it sealed. And then the other way is you can just buy a big box, a sealed box, you know, not opened and you know, you can sell it just like that as well. 
So I, I really in this, I didn't want to get too, too deep into all the different avenues, but I kind of try to give you a little bit of each one so that you can kind of get an idea of what to look for. If you're going to kind of get invest in this and sell it off later, what you, what your options are for it. Um, I did suggest that, that you take a look at is um, there is a feel guide and I know that sounds kind of weird but um in each bag there's different pieces for each character and uh, you know brothers brick there's a bunch of other sites that do it but they they've actually gone and they've done like a feel guide so you can just actually take the bag and you can feel to find a, a particular piece that's only in maybe that that particular character itself so that you're able to distinguish it from it now it does take some time if you've never done that before some people are probably better better at it than others uh, but I, I tried it myself and it it's once I got the hang of it once I was able to get the feel of it I was actually pretty pretty spot on because I, I did a, a few different ones and I also want to make sure I got it right so I was, did have a pretty good um, I had a hundred percent at least when I did it as far as the feel guide uh, some of them are a little bit harder than others so you know it's going to vary per different series but at least you can go on here and if this is something that you want to do and obviously this takes time to do this, but I'll show you if it's worth it for you. I mean, maybe it is, I'm not really sure. Maybe it isn't, but this is one way that you can kind of get get in there. The other way is you can cut, just like I said, you can just cut open the bag and you know exactly what figure is in there. But I'm gonna be honest with you, some people like to actually do the feel guide of it and they wanna know they have a complete set and they go through the whole thing. So there's a little bit extra value in there if you're able to provide that with them as a sealed set. You know, that just brings up the value, I guess, to some Lego fans. We're gonna start off with, um, I kind of put it in the middle here, but we're gonna go from the oldest to the newest ones. Um, so there's the 2014, this is the Lego movie series set. So this is these these right here. In this set, there's 16 of them. Uh, this came out in 2014. It retired around 2015 to 16, somewhere around there. You know, I'm not really certain the exact retirement date, but if you were to buy this, it would be a $2.99 retail price of it. Maybe you got some discount for $1.50, $2, somewhere around there. Uh, so if you were to sell this at just as the bag itself, you know, you would, it, it's going for $18.49 right now. And if you got it for $1.50, that'd be about a 768% uh, return on investment. But, you know, just be aware that this is a Keeper chart right here. If you haven't seen Keeper, my training on Keeper is right up there. But this basically doesn't sell that often. It looks like maybe once a month. And there's a big lag right in here. Maybe on Bricklink, eBay, you might sell a little bit more and you might maybe want to sell it for less than that. You know, I'm just showing you guys the Amazon uh, as far as the aspect on Amazon. So it could be a better seller on eBay or Bricklink and maybe it's a, not as much money for it. Maybe it's like 15 or $16 on there. But I just want to guys give you an idea of like what the value is. Now, just keep in mind that most of the time that when I do investing, I try to get my money back within about three years at the maximum. So this was kind of a little bit far out and this might be too far out for a lot of folks as well if you're investing. But the good thing about these these minifigures is that you can buy a, a ton of them and store them for in a very small space. Um, most of the time you can get them for 50% off when they do go on clearance. I came across a ton of them when I was looking in the past few years and, and I always find a, like boxes and boxes of them so they're very plentiful even at clearance time just people I don't know they skip over them or maybe they just don't put them out right away or they don't see all of them uh, the other thing you have to keep in mind is that it does uh, the popularity of these has grown and then there's more investors that are kind of in it as well so looking at the older stuff there might not have been a huge kind of demand in the investing space of it so it's just more of the uh, folks that are just looking to actually collect them and use them and stuff so so in this particular series i wanted to show you a just a couple of other things so if you were to sell this as individual and let's say you got this for dollar 50 you know that's a 200 percent roi so obviously th there's a little difference in here with the blind bag and that um, this you know might not be a great one to look at as far as the the cost of it and everything but look at this one right here this one's worth noting you look at this uh this one's a thousand uh thousand forty three percent roi and it is selling actually pretty well so this one might be a might be one of those ones that you can find for, and if you held on to it, this would be a really good investment. 
um, you know, that's pretty good for, for that amount of time. I think that would be something worth it at that point. So again, you know, the, it's going to vary on the character. It's going to vary on if you want to do a complete set. Uh, you know, it's going to vary on a few different things on how you, uh, you know, take that investment and, and kind of package it up into a product. But it's worth looking at as far as on those different channels and those and selling them in those same different ways. So we're going to move up to the next one, which is the Lego Ninjago movie, which is set 71019. And this is released in 2017. So a little bit sooner. Um, it's still a little bit f kind of far out. It's about, uh, you know, from two. 2021 it's about four years so you know i wanted to kind of get in a little bit closer just to see what it was like as far as you know getting a return on investment uh now this movie was a very popular movie so there was very huge demand but if you were to get this at the the retail price uh 3.99 you know let's say you got it for two dollars maybe three dollars and you were to sell this today, it would be twelve forty eight for just the blind bag itself which would be a 300 percent return on investment which is pretty good, um, you know, for for four years, you know, that's that's pretty good. Now, there's some other notable ones that you can look in here. This this particular um, figure right here was is is actually going for sixteen ninety five, uh, maybe a little bit less than that. But let's put sixteen ninety five. And you know, if you got it for two dollars, you know, you're getting almost a five hundred percent return on investment just for this particular minifigure. So that's why it's interesting. You know to to sort of know like the popularity of the sets and the series that there is and also to note that some of these particular minifigures are a little bit more i guess more difficult to get i looked on ebay and i wanted to see what a complete set of this would be if it was still sealed and it's going for about 135 dollars with shipping so if you were to get the if you were to get the reach the sell price was 135 Buy cost was 40, eBay fees were 15%. So 135 times 0.15. And this is how you have to do to figure out your what your costs are because you know if you don't do this stuff, then you know you're just guessing at what it is. And sometimes you know knowing that's different. So it's a return on investment of 187%. Not really that great. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, that's not something I would be really happy with you know as far as doing all the work to like to feel each one out and that's all you're getting for a profit that's not really that doesn't really cut it in my book <laughs> so to speak but i don't know you know if you're just starting out you know and you get a whole supply of these things you know that might be something that you might be comfortable with starting out with you could sell these like i said in different ways different channels and everything to see what you get for it so the next series that we're going to go over is the looney tune series it is set 71030 literally it was released in 2021 it is still available but they're not making any more as far as they're still out in the store the uh, retail price of these are $4.99. I was actually getting these for $1.25. I got them for different various costs. Uh, some of them are $2.49, uh, you know, 50% off. Some of them are $1.25. This particular blind bag itself, though, is $4.99. What's interesting about this, this series is that there seems to be a really big demand for these particular ones, as opposed to some of the other ones that I like. I don't know if it's just the Looney Tunes. And again, this is where... You know, you have to know your your kind of your um, trends and everything out there and just the, you know, the what the demand is for it. So kind of knowing that. But, you know, if I were to sell uh, Wiley Coyote just individually, I mean, that's already a 471% return on investment. Now, I don't know what this goes for in BrickLink or eBay. Um, so take a look out on there. There might be, you might be able to find this for a little bit cheaper, but on here, people are buying this for that price. I mean, the, the sales rank, as you can see, is, you know, they're selling it at that particular price. You know, it's worth noting that there's different ones out there. So maybe look and see individual ones and see which ones they are. But if you were to actually I did a just a test of one of them just to see if you know how much I could get. I I built a few of these because so I had a ton of them. So I did the field test on a lot of them and I just put together um, three sets for myself just so I can sell them. And I it, my cost came out because I didn't have a dollar twenty five in every single one of them, but it came out to about two dollars and fourteen cents I think it was for each one. So that's twenty five sixty eight for the whole series of twelve. And I sold these for, um, actually I sold it for a little bit less than 78, but it was around $75. 
So that's 147% ROI. And that's really good right now. I mean, I literally just bought them and I listed them on there as a complete set. I field them through. So maybe I had, I probably had about two hours in of work of just feeling them through to get three sets, maybe a little bit less because I didn't really know what I was doing at first. So I had to look everything up in the field guide and kind of get used to that. So it did take me a little longer, but once I got it, I probably could do, uh, you know, maybe much less than that. Maybe it'll take me, you know, 20 minutes for each series to to you know on average to to find a bag so you know i don't know if that's really worth your time to do it but you know 147 percent right off the bat as soon as i got it it was sold i mean they sold immediately as soon as i listed them up there so that you know might be worth looking at for some particular series and this is towards the end of the series so you know it wasn't right at the beginning of it so i don't know now if i held on to these i don't know how much these would go up in value i'm not really sure of the kind of the demand after a certain number but um for now i think that was pretty good now i don't know if this is good if this was the case for every single series they had but it's definitely worth looking into i mean you know it's just one of those things where you have some options to do it um it is a pretty decent investment if on some of them i don't think every single one of them are going to be you know home run heroes Hopefully you found this really helpful. Um, if you want, again, you know, you can grab this return on investment sheet right here and it has a bunch of different stuff in here. Calculators for shipping, even as a VIP calculator as well. Um, and this will kind of help you figure out if things are worth investing in. So really, I, you know, for this particular series, I'm going to say this varies. I'm not going to go after every single one of them, even if they're on clearance. I think the ones that aren't really popular, such as the, just the regular ones that are just a random figures, the ones that I, when I looked at those ones, I didn't really care for those ones. They didn't really seem to do it for me. Uh, they didn't really seem to kind of go with the numbers but maybe take a look at one of these other series maybe let me know in the comments if there's a particular series that seems to do really well that i just i just didn't examine all of them there's so many of them as you can see in here so if there's any particular series that you think is worth noting and maybe some reasons why just drop a comment comment below because I, I love to just know you know what you guys think as well well hope you guys found this really helpful if you could please give us a like smash that like button also if you could subscribe down below hit the bell so you get notified of any new videos that we do have also if you listen to us um, on a podcast or even if you don't even know if we have a podcast go up there and take a look at our podcast and leave us a positive review if you can whichever streaming channel that you're on and i'll see you guys on the next show